Hello and welcome to One on One. I'm your host, Carolyn Lewis, director of the WOUB Center for Public Media. Today we're talking with Dr. Nancy Zimfer, the 25th president of the University of Cincinnati. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Carolyn. So now you are the first female president at the University of Cincinnati. I am. What is your typical day like? Well, I don't know whether this would be any different for a male president or a female, but mm -hmm. every once in a while my typical day starts by setting the table for dinner guests. And I dare say that's a skill that <laughs> most men presidents probably don't engage in. But believe it or not, I actually love setting a table. But I do start very early in the morning. I like to get into my office ahead of everybody. Uh, which is almost always seven o'clock or so, sometimes mm -hmm. six if I'm really behind. Uh, but then uh, my schedule of meetings begins uh, at 7.30 or 8. Uh, I meet throughout the day because really how you move the agenda is by getting people together and getting them to do things, and those are called meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, I sometimes have a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is all business, or sometimes I have no breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I almost always have uh, evening commitments. Uh, could be with students, could be with donors, could be with community. Is that the most challenging part of your job, just keeping that rigorous schedule? Or what are the challenging things yeah. that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, the schedule is a challenge, but you are the designer of the schedule. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I have to be careful to use my time to really get things done that I want to get done. So the big challenges of the job are really the big problems that have to be solved or the big progress that you're trying to make. So it turns out that just making the schedule is about the easiest <laughs> thing you do. You've been the president of the University of Cincinnati since 2003. Right. What are some of the successes that you've had as president? Well, I'll tell you, uh, when the Board of Trustees hired me, and I'm so glad they did, they really made it a priority that we create an academic plan. Uh, some would call it a strategic plan, but a vision for where the university was going to go in the future. If you know anything about the University of Cincinnati, we've just massively overhauled our physical plant, so we have all these beautiful buildings and space, and we want to make sure that our academic plans built on that new facility. Mm -hmm. And so we got a lot of people engaged and really began to think about, well, how we could be a leader in the 21st century. And so that's our plan. Mm -hmm. And the biggest challenge, I think, so far and the greatest accomplishment is we wanted to pay more attention to our student body. You know, I was just thinking about that. You talk about the plan, the buildings. So what other ways are you making the university more enjoyable for students? Because actually, that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, it is, but sometimes as adults, we forget <laughs> this, and we put ourselves uh, ahead of the students. And so we've done it in lots of different ways. We've increased our uh, capacity to advise our students. We've created a one-stop center so that students know where to get help and immediate help. Uh, we've created a, a, a main street in the center of campus where all the student work occurs. It's like the court street in a, in a mm -hmm. town where you have uh, the city hall and you have, so we have the student union and the student rec center and the student uh, life center where all the student organizations meet right in the middle of campus mm -hmm. so that they see themselves as kind of running mm -hmm, the place, mm -hmm. which is not all bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've worked on a better um, freshman experience, smaller class sizes, organized our students around cohorts, uh, built this fabulous rec center that mm -hmm. they can be healthy in, yeah. uh, and given them lots of opportunities for leadership, mm -hmm. all because we committed ourselves to put the students at the center. 